Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a bit of an Ikea dupe. I've got this drawer from B&Q, so let's see how it turns out. So guys, I have got this little, it's an Ikea dupe. This is actually from B&Q, so I want to see how it looks and I hope it's as stable as the ones in um, Ikea. So I'm going to put that up in a minute and I'll let you know what the verdict Later is. Later that same evening. Guys, I have already started on some of this. It is, uh, what, nearly half. 9.30 now so I probably won't get to film all of it I'll film as much as I can but I've just put in all the little screws in the drawers I'm going to start doing the drawers first and then I'm going to start on the other bits so I've laid everything out ready to do So the first drawer is done, this is the top one, so I'm going to build the other ones and then I'll come back. Four drawers are done, so I might just come back tomorrow and do this last bit so that you can see in the light what I'm doing. So I'll do that tomorrow. Day two.
finally finished guys so just putting the last bit of screws in the sides to hold the drawers i didn't get to film it i'm having to film on my phone because my camera my battery cameras ran out oh, so this is it anyway finished So these are the drawers and I'm really happy with them to be honest. I've got little, little socks in here and stuff. And it's only 40 centimetres um, wide because this area is quite a small area and it just fits with the wardrobe so it's perfect. But yeah, on the um, B&Q website there were a few bad reviews and when I got it yesterday I was tempted to send it back but I thought let me just give it a try and actually it's quite good, it's quite sturdy. The bits are not as chunky as the IKEA ones, but um, you know it, it's done. It's done the job, and I'm um, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Looks good. Fits in the little corner, so I'll definitely give this a thumbs up. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.